Hi guys, I'm G and you're watching G's Closet. So guys, my channel is about luxury fashion, beauty and travel. If you like to see videos related to these topics and if you haven't subscribed, do subscribe by hitting that red subscribe button and the bell sign next to the subscribe button so that you guys will be notified whenever I upload a video. So guys, today I'm going to do a collection video. So I'm going to show you my entire Louis Vuitton collection. I'm really excited about today's video. So basically guys, in the video, I'm going to show you all my handbags, accessories and small leather goods. I'll be separating this into three sections. Uh, so I will be also giving you a small uh, story behind each item that I have purchased. I've been collecting these for more than a decade now. So these are not bought at one go. So hope you guys will enjoy my video today. Let's go ahead and jump into the video. The first category is handbags. So guys, my first ever Louis Vuitton item is this beautiful handbag, the Speedy um, 35 in the Damien Urbane print. Uh, I'm currently using this handbag. It's a great handbag. It's been 10 years since I bought this bag and it has held up quite well. Um, I can definitely do a wear and tear video about this bag if you are interested. Do let me know in the comments down below. I will definitely do a separate video for this. And this is a great starter handbag as well from the Fashion House because of its price point. I have done a separate video on uh, starter pieces. Uh, I will leave the link down in the description box below. You guys can have a look. So this has a beautiful red interior in the bag because it's a Damier bean bag. So basically why I bought this bag in this print was because initially I was not a big fan of the monogram style. The whole monogram was uh, a little too loud for me but of course later on I changed most of my uh, handbags into the monogram style because I fell in love with it. So this was my first ever Louis Vuitton item, the Indemia Urbane print, Speedy 35 in the classic style. So my next Damia Urbane handbag is the Alma PM bag. And again, this bag is a great bag and it has a beautiful uh, red lining inside uh, with two pockets. Um, this is a great bag for travel as well. Why I'm saying that this is great for travel is because um, you get these two, these two rings on either side where you can attach a longer strap into it and use this bag as a crossbody bag. Uh, actually, I haven't used this bag much. My mother uses this bag quite a lot and she loves it. And this is a great work bag as well because it fits quite a lot. So my next handbag is this beauty. So I'm going to take the uh, handbag out from the dust bag. Um, I usually keep these bags stuff uh, for it to hold the um, shape. So I'm going to take all this stuffing out. So this is the only Damien Azure handbag I own. Uh, this was my second Louis Vuitton item. Uh, uh, guys, I love this bag. I love the size. This is in the MM size. This is called the Artsy. I absolutely love this beautiful handle and this holds quite a lot. It has a beautiful uh, microfiber uh, interior, which I absolutely love. Actually guys, a lot of people think that this will have a lot of color transfer because it's in the Azure print, but I haven't had any color transfer in this bag. I absolutely love this bag. It holds so much and it's very stylish when you carry this bag. It's definitely a beautiful piece which I love. This is one of my favorite handbags and this has a sentimental value because my dad bought this for me. So I will never part with this bag. Um, even if I don't use it, I will just hang on to this because I absolutely love this bag. So guys, next up is this beauty. This is the Neverfull MM size in the monogram style with the um, untreated leather. Guys, I should say one thing. Um, I love the monogram style, but one thing I don't like is the patina of the uh, handle of the leather. Um, for Sri Lanka, because of our weather and the humidity, it gets really dark. It doesn't stop at the beautiful honey color. I would prefer if it was a little lighter, the patina. But hey guys, I have used this bag to death. I've used it for work. 
I've used it for travel, I've used it for many things and this bag is a great bag as a start piece as well and it holds quite a lot. It has this beautiful print inside and uh, I have the older version. So in the newer version, you get a push it attached into the bag. So I think that's a great uh, idea as well. So you get a little push it and the handbag for the same price. So guys, my next item is this beautiful clutch from the Louis Vuitton. This is in the Verne print. Um, okay guys, so I'm not a big fan of the Verne print after I use this bag because you get a lot of finger marks in the uh, handbag. You have to keep on wiping the handbag to make it look beautiful. But it's definitely a great evening bag guys. So you open the bag like so and you get a small pocket here and there is another big pocket with a small zipper pocket in front. So as an evening bag, I think this um, holds all your essentials. I bought this bag in 2015 and I've used this so much and it has held up quite well. So guys, my next item is this beauty, uh, the Eva Clutch in Damien Abin. Again, this has the red interior as in all the other Damien Urbain uh, prints. That's the crossbody strap. It comes with a crossbody strap and it does also come with this beautiful chain which is attached from one side and you can definitely take this off from the other side and you can maybe attach it on this side and use it as a wrist bag. Um, there's a beautiful evening bag and it's one of the most iconic bags from Louis Vuitton and I really don't know why they discontinued this. This is now being discontinued by uh, Louis Vuitton but this is definitely an awesome bag. It's a great purchase that I did. This is probably my third ever Louis Vuitton item. I bought this in 2012 so it has held up quite well as you can see. It's a great crossbody bag. It's a comfortable uh, strap. The crossbody strap is really comfortable. So I really don't know why Louis Vuitton discontinued this. If you guys like to buy this bag, it has to be from the pre-loved market. So I think this is a great starter piece as well if you are okay to buy it pre-loved. So the next item is one of my favorite items from Louis Vuitton. Um, it's the Pushet Matisse in the Emprunt leather. Guys, this bag is one of my favorites and I adore this bag. I bought this bag in 2017. Um, I have since 2017 I've used this most of the time as a travel bag. Um, actually why I like this as a travel bag is you just have to take one bag when you're using the pushet Matisse because it has uh, it holds a lot and it has three compartments inside. I will show you guys. So, um, so I have stuck my bags so basically it has three compartments like so it holds quite a lot and uh, it does come with this beautiful crossbody strap so basically you can attach the strap on to these two rings on either side and it does come with a zipper closure at the back with the beautiful red interior again as you can see guys, this holds quite a lot. So if you want to take this as an evening bag, you can just carry it without the crossbody with the uh, top handle like so. So this bag has been so popular. Um, you can't buy this bag in the canvas print anymore because uh, it's actually you have to pre-order and wait for some time to buy this bag. But I think, I'm not too sure, but I think you can buy it in the Omprant feather. But when I bought it also, the entire store only had one bag. So I was lucky to get my hands on this bag. Um, I think this is a great bag. If you guys like uh, to have one piece from Louis Vuitton, I think this will be the handbag. So guys, my last Louis Vuitton handbag is this beauty, favorite MM in the monogram canvas. And this comes with a another shoulder strap which is a little shorter than the uh, Eva clutch. Um, you might not be able to use this as a crossbody because the strap is a little shorter uh, but if you are a short person then you might be able to get away with uh, this as crossbody. 
So this bag has a magnetic closure. As you can see, when you open it, it does come with a small slip pocket. And I think this is also a great uh, evening bag as uh, the Eva plush as I showed you before. This was the older version which Louis Vuitton discontinued, but I still think that the Eva plush um, holds much more than the favorite MM. Um, so this is my last Louis Vuitton handbag in the handbag section. So my next category is small leather goods. So my first ever small leather good from Louis Vuitton is this beauty, the Pushet Matisse, again in the Damier Urbane print uh, with the beautiful um, red interior. Um, okay, so I bought this um, initially to use as a small cosmetic pouch inside my bigger bag. You can also use this as a small uh, wallet as well. You can fit in a few cards, some cash and maybe your keys. Uh, you can also use this um, inside your bigger bags uh, as this small um, chain is detachable. You can attach it on the other side and use it as a wristlet as well. Also, you can attach a longer strap onto this and then uh, use it as a crossbody, a little mini crossbody bag. Since it's a great trend in uh, 2020 to use uh, micro and mini bags, uh, you can use this as a handbag. I have done a uh, 2020 trend video as well. I will link it down in the description box below. You guys can have a look. So this will be a great uh, bag for 2020. So my next small leather good is this cosmetic pouch in the PM size, again in the monogram print. Um, I'm currently using this. I'm actually using this inside my bigger bag to hold all my makeup needs. Um, it's a great uh, pouch actually because, um, okay, I can't use this in smaller bags uh, because of the width of the uh, bottom half of the uh, cosmetic pouch. Um, but it does hold quite a lot. Uh, it holds all my makeup essentials uh, for a day. Maybe like a, what I do is I have my small brushes and then my lipsticks and a little compact. My compact is not there right now. So um, I think this is a great um, small leather good to use inside your bigger handbag. So my next SLG is this beauty. This is the sunglass case from uh, Louis Vuitton, again in the monogram print. Uh, so you open it like so and I have currently uh, put my uh, Chanel sunglasses inside. Um, why I like this um, sunglass case is because mostly you can't use the sunglass cases which these uh, brand sunglasses come in. They're really big so it takes up a lot of space in the handbag. So I prefer to have a slim uh, cover for my sunglasses and this does protect my sunglasses as well because it does have the microfiber uh, lining inside so it's quite safe for my sunglasses. So my next item is the key pouch from the Vuitton. This is the six ring key pouch uh, again in the uh, monogram canvas. It is a great piece. You can hold all your um, keys inside this. Um, I have used this quite a lot and it's quite dirty as I will show you guys it's quite dirty it has uh, I've used it quite a lot um, currently I only have two keys usually I have about four keys inside here you can put six keys it also comes with this little slip pocket if I'm just going to the supermarket I just put a few cards inside the uh, slip pocket in between and um, maybe so I have my house keys and just grab this and go to the supermarket. It's quite convenient in that way. So I think this is a great starter piece as well. I love this item. It's quite useful. I've been using it from the time I bought it until today. So I bought this in, uh, if I'm not mistaken, in 2017. So since then, I've been using this until today, non-stop. So my next SLG is the key clay from Louis Vuitton in the monogram style. They have this in three uh, canvas prints and they also have this in various leather types as well. This is one of the greatest uh, small leather goods from uh, Louis Vuitton. So you can use the key clay uh, inside your bigger bag. It does come with a small um, keychain which you can use to attach your keys or you can use this little chain to attach this into uh, bigger bags. 
Um, I have actually used this as an accessory, a little um, charm in my uh, bigger bags. So I think this is a great uh, small leather good. It's quite versatile and it's a great starter piece as well. So guys, I have two wallets from uh, Louis Vuitton. Um, the first wallet is this beauty. This is the Zippy wallet, again in the Omprank leather. So I bought this wallet to match my uh, pochet batiste. It's the same leather in the same color. So this opens like so. I'm using this at the moment. So I'm not going to show you much. If you guys like the review again, leave a comment down below. I can do that for you. I love this wallet simply because this wallet uh, holds all my cards. It uh, basically holds um, 12 cards. It has 12 card slots on each side. Each side it has six card slots and then there are like three uh, compartments and another small slip compartment with a zipper compartment. So guys, I bought this wallet in 2018. Since then, I've used this wallet every single day. So guys, my final small leather good from Louis Vuitton is another wallet. It's this beautiful inside wallet uh, in the monogram canvas. I absolutely love this wallet guys. I love it simply because it opens up flat like this. It's quite accessible. It's very easy to access all your cards. I have hot stamped it uh, with my initials as well. So again, this holds uh, 12 credit cards uh, on each side. As you can see, you, uh, there are six uh, card slots on each side. So you can close the uh, cards uh, side like so. And you also get a small um, a small zipper compartment when you close it, uh, the wallet right here so you can store maybe your most used cards or coins or cash in here uh, it it has a lot of compartments actually when you open it it does have two slip pockets on either side it also has another um, zipper compartment in the middle this can also be used to maybe store some coins or cash. So it does come with a lot of compartments. It holds a lot of things in this wallet. So this wallet comes with this small ring here. I can attach a chain um, just uh, in this ring and then use it as a, as a wristlet or as an evening uh, clutch. So I'll show you guys. I have this little keychain which I uh, bought from a Louis Vuitton again what I do is I just insert it onto this uh, ring here like so now this has become a beautiful evening wristlet my final category is accessories so I have a few accessories from uh, Louis Vuitton. I basically have a few belts and a pair of shoes and a scarf. So let's go ahead and have a look at those. So guys, um, I have five belts from Louis Vuitton. So uh, my first belt is this beauty. This is a full leather belt with the um, LV uh, logo buckle. This is a double sided um, belt. Uh, which, he, which comes in black and in tan. Basically, you can take off the buckle like so and turn it around and use the other side of the belt. So my next belt is this monogram canvas belt, again with the gold uh, Louis Vuitton um, buckle. And this is just a one-sided buckle. I've used this a lot with most of my uh, monogram handbags. So my next belt is the Damia Azure belt, again in the gold uh, LV buckle. This is also just a one-sided uh, belt. So my next belt is this beauty, the Damia Abin belt in the 25mm with the gold buckle. I use this mostly for work with my um, Damia Abin um, handbag. My last belt from Louis Vuitton is this beauty, the black epi leather with this beautiful V buckle. Again, this I use for work. Again, this is also in the 25 millimeter size. So guys, I only own one 
pair of shoes from the Louis Vuitton. The pair I own is this beauty. I have shown these, uh, these shoes in my shoe collection video as well. Again, I will leave that down below in the description box if you guys like to have a look. Um, these are uh, in the kitten heel. It does have a little patent leather part at the back and it's in monogram canvas. So the last accessory that I own is this beautiful scarf which I bought again in 2017. I've used this mostly again for travel when I go to a colder destination. I use this and this is in my favorite uh, color, blue. It's quite a huge uh, scarf so you can use this in many ways. So guys, I have one travel item from Louis Vuitton and that is this uh, beauty. This is the Keyfall 55 in uh, the mon classic monogram style with the untreated leather. Okay, I've used this twice uh, in my travels. Um, I think it holds quite a lot and it does come with uh, this um, crossbody handle. It's quite comfortable. You can use it crossbody or if you like, you can use it hand here. You can even uh, keep, place this on your hand luggage and just uh, carry it. I think it's quite a uh, huge bag and you can definitely use this in the cabin. You don't have to check in this bag. The 55 size is the maximum size that you can use in the uh, cabin. It's quite an amazing bag for travel. And that's the only travel bag that I own from Louis Vuitton. I'm hoping to buy more travel uh, bags from Louis Vuitton in the future. So guys, that's it from me for my Louis Vuitton collection today. Uh, if you guys like the video, give this video a thumbs up and do leave a comment on which bag is your favorite. If you haven't subscribed, do subscribe by hitting that red subscribe button and the bell sign next to the subscribe button so that you guys will be notified whenever I upload a video. Hope to see you guys soon in my next video. Until then, have a great week.